Squad Kids, I hope you are doing well and that you had a wonderful week. It is time again for our story, for a message, for something to encourage you and really think about for the week. So let's dig in. Have you ever heard about Jonah? You probably did. Jonah and the whale. It's a story in the Old Testament. It's really in the end of the Old Testament. And I'm going to share a little bit about Jonah and the whale. So Jonah lived in Israel. He was very happy. He was a popular guy. A lot of people came to him with their problems. They were wondering about something. They could always come talk to Jonah. Jonah was also a prophet. What is a prophet? Can you remember? In the Old Testament, the prophets was the guys that listened to God and they gave the word to the people. So Jonah heard God's voice very clearly. So a lot of times he would give them messages and what God is telling them. So Jonah was oldish. He wasn't a young man anymore, so he had a lot of wisdom too. And one day God said to him, Jonah, I need you to go to Nineveh. And Jonah's like, what? I don't want to go there. And God is like, I really need you to go there. He's like, God, do you really seriously know what Nineveh is doing? They are bad people. They are drinking. They, they are really, they are bad. They kill each other. They don't worry about people's lives. They are really bad. And the king, the king will eat all the food and have nothing for the people. He's a bad king. God, do you know he is like the enemy of the Israelites? Do you know that God? And God is like, Jonah, I know that. I made them, but they made wrong choices. And I need you to go speak to the king and to the people and tell them that they need to turn to me, God. And Jonah is like, God, can't you just destroy them? And God is like, well, if they're not going to turn to me, I will destroy them in 40 days. And they're like, okay. And Jonah was just not up to this task, and he actually tried to run away from God. Hide. Have we ever tried to hide? Yes. If you did something wrong at home, and your mom is like calling your name, and you know, yeah, it's trouble. I need to hide. My, there's trouble now. So Jonah thought he could hide from God. And like you know, mom and dad will always find you. True? Yes, true. So Jonah is hiding. He's climbing on a fisher boat. And the guys is like, can I please climb on your boat and just go with you? And they're like, we don't know you. Who are you? He's like, it doesn't matter. Can I just please climb on your boat? And eventually the guys are like, the fisherman is like, just climb on the boat. It's fine. Guys, they're on the boat. And suddenly there's a wind. But it sounds like if I read the story in the Bible, this is a crazy wind. It is blowing and the waves is coming and it eventually becomes a storm. And these guys on the boat, the fishermen, they did not believe in God. They were worshipping idols. Idols is things that are made of stone or wood and they will believe that that thing will help them and also protect them. So they are praying to these funny gods of them and nothing is working. And they're like, what is wrong? Why is, why is, why is this happening to us? So they go to Jonah. It's like, Jonah, who are you? Why is there a storm? Something is fishy. And Jonah is like, well, I am a prophet of Israel. And God, this storm is about me. God wants me to go to Nineveh and I don't want to listen. And they're like, but then pray to your God and tell them to stop the storm because we can't have you on the boat. We're all going to die. This boat is going to break now. And Jonah is like, no, God doesn't want to listen to me now because I don't want to listen to him. Guys, so suddenly these fishermen is like, no, Jonah, you are like, no, no. We're just going to throw you over the boat because we don't want to be in the middle of the storm. So they take Jonah. They chuck him off the boat. Can you believe it? They eat Overboard, finish, clap. And Jonah is like, look, 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 going down in this sea. And suddenly on top, the boat, the storm is gone. And these guys are, this God is real because he stopped the storm. But meantime, poor Jonah is going, look, 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 down in the sea. And suddenly there's this huge whale, like huge. Imagine you being swallowed by a whale. So it's a big mouth and it's like, 
Jonah is waking up. He's like, oh, where am I? And he starts to feel oh, the slimy stuff around me. And oh my goodness, it stinks. And it's dark. And he feels, and he feels, he's like, I think I'm in a fish. I think I'm in a whale. Poor Jonah, I think, would really, I would have been scared, realizing that I am in a slimy, stinky whale. So Jonah is like, Lord, please help me. Please help me. Please help me. I don't want to be in the fish. For three days, Jonah was in the fish, guys. Can you imagine how he would have stinked? Like, I don't think I wanted to be close to him after three days of being inside of a whale's tummy. Ugh, disgusting. But in any case, so Jonah is being thrown on the beach, and he's like, Lord, I will, I will do what you tell me, but I really don't know how to do this because this is really evil people. And God is like, Jonah, I will protect you. This is what I want you. If, if you don't talk to them, and if they don't turn away from their wicked ways, I am going to destroy this land. Okay. Fast forward. Jonah is in Nineveh. He's telling the people about God. He's telling them, now, guys, you really need to listen up, and you really need to turn to God, because if God, if you don't turn away from your wicked ways, God will destroy your whole country. So eventually the people is telling the king, like, king, we, this is this guy that is telling us that we need to turn away from our gods, and we need to believe in God, the ultimate God, God Almighty. And he's like, bring Jonah to me. So Jonah came to the king, to the palace, entering the palace. I think it must have been amazing to go into a palace. And Jonah is like, king, you need to turn to God. Because God is telling me, because I'm a prophet, I hear God, that if you don't turn away, your whole country will be destroyed. And you know what? The king decided to believe in God. He turned away his country. He made right with, with God. He said, God, please forgive me for all the bad stuff I did. I know now that it was wrong. And I really want to be a better king and a better person for my kingdom. So Jonah went back to Israel. But you know what? If you've got an enemy, like someone that's maybe really bad or someone that really is not a good person and they became good, you're like always sometimes a little bit like, well, they, won't they go bad again? So Jonah actually went home and he's like, but Lord, please still strike them down because you know he's still our enemy and they're still bad. And do you really think that all of them will turn out good? God is like, Jonah... I made these people. I know they can be good if they choose to. I know that. And Jonah really struggled with God and said, God, please just still just take them out because they are our enemies. And God said, Jonah, I am giving these people a second chance. I believe they can change. And Jonah needed to learn a very, very big lesson that day. That all of us, me and you, no matter what bad stuff we did, no matter how many times we run away from God and say, no, God, I don't want to do that, or I don't, I don't want to give my brookie to my friend because I'm really also hungry, or I don't want to be good with my brothers and sisters. It's nicer to just tease them and be ugly to them. Or, God, I don't always want to listen to my mom because, oh, they're so boring. We all need a second chance. And God said to Jonah that, Jonah, I will give the whole country a second chance if they ask for forgiveness and they believe in me. And this morning, I really don't just remember the story of a whale and a man that was swallowed by a whale, but also remember the story as God giving us a second chance. God gave Jonah a second chance to say, Jonah, are you going to listen to me? Yes, Lord, I'm giving you a second chance. Jonah could have died in the storm. Jonah could have been eaten by the whale and gone, but God gave Jonah a second chance. God gave Nineveh a second chance. And you know what? God is giving you a second chance. So if there's something that really bothers you, something that you need to forgive someone for that was maybe ugly to you, or something maybe you are doing to someone else that's really, really hurting them, I want you guys this morning to pray maybe with mom and dad or whoever is with you watching this video and say, Lord, we come this morning and we ask that you will forgive us. Forgive us sin. Forgive us for not listening to you. Because we really want to be in your will. And we really want to be protected by you. And you know what? 
Jonah lived a very long life so after that, doing God's work and listening to God and telling people of what God is saying. And remember, God can use you no matter how big or small you are. God listens to you, and you need to listen to God to know what you need to do. Guys, you must have an awesome, awesome week. I'll see you next week. Have a blessed week. See you soon. Bye.